friends, family, and cool kids. So I'm here on a 34 hour reset, uh, just south of Portland. And I had to do some tarp repair. So that was fun. Literally took the uh, skin off the top of my fingers. Haven't done that since I was 17 years old and working in a lumber mill, sanding. Um, so that was interesting. And then I decided the world needs a little bit of love in a piss pond called a truck stop. So if you'll stay tuned, I'll show you how we do that. This is that. Serious. Hey, Mike, coming down off the top, or coming up on top. Yes, sir. We got two 18s getting ready to come out. Appreciate it. Well, you guys, this right. is what a teams come off the top. Two teams come off the top. This is serious stuff, you guys. This little road down here. I learned what it was to lock my differential. <laughs> and my tires almost ate the side of the road. I don't know how many times. Had to go through a peacock farm. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I was doing up here or what they're doing up here. Because that's none your business. But, uh. I'm going to take you along on this little drive so you can see what you would expect as a flatbed driver, what you might get to see every once in a while. Hopefully I don't pop my brake switch again and have to get it serviced by Peterbilt and lose out on three, four days of revenue.
Phew. Think Nikita. <laughs> Pay attention to the road. Yes, ma'am. It's gonna make or break me. coming up here because he had toolboxes underneath his step deck and they got caught on the rails. That was big fun for everybody. Definitely thankful I did not wash the truck yesterday either, because I thought about it. like a song. 18 wheels loaded, headed up the mountain. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, you have a good day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Well, here's the 
here's the peacock farm. We've got one on the side of the road. He's gonna he wants to cross, so we're gonna let him cross. Well, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Get yourself some sidewalk chalk after you've been hard at work, you know, fixing all your stuff up. And write something nice so when people walk by, you know, they see something that makes them smile. Here at the TA, it's a little town called Aurora, and I parked right next to a spot where nobody else could park. Been here three nights because yesterday morning I had a load, and I got Nikita Joy over here in her own little dog pen area. So when people walk by the smile sign, they see a puppy playing with her ball, it makes people real happy. <laughs> Puppy love always works. Got my chair set up. Got my little virgin pina colada I make. With the tires and some pallets and some trailers. I am living ghetto fabulous. Nikita, you want me to throw your ball? Yes? Okay. Are you going to catch? Yes? Okay, sit. Catch your ball. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys. Got to get back to work. <laughs>